just got you just got in from London, right? I did. Like, just like five minutes ago, I feel like. You were at the BAFTA Awards, I went which to is the BAFTAs. what does BAFTA stand for? The British Academy of Film and Television Academy. Is like their <laughs> version of the Oscars. Do they have twelve okay, different award shows like we do, or they just have the one? I don't think so. I think they just have the one. It's very prestigious. And this one, I didn't know at the time, but we got there and learned that William and Kate were 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 in attendance. Prince, William and Kate, Prince, the Prince. Uh, the Prince and oh, Princess wow. were there. They sat in the very front row. Oh. And I sat like four rows behind them and I just was obsessed with watching them watch the show the whole time. And it was very civilized, but I thought, my God, if I win, I've got to go up and, you know, say whatever I say in front of them. And I don't know any, you know, and then, which I did win and I, I was very nervous. You did win. You were especially nervous because they were there? They were there. It was Isn't like, that odd in a way? Because you're nervous because they were there. They didn't really, they don't really do anything. I mean, they just were born. I know, you know? they're royalty. There's something about the yeah. royal, I, I've never met any royal people. I mean, I, I, you know? Not even met... Beyonce and Jay-Z? Well, no. <laughs> I, I suppose they are American royalty. I've not met them before, so yeah. I would be probably just as nervous. Yeah, you, right, truthfully. yeah. But, but afterwards, when you, all the winners got to be up on stage and, and William and Kate came to, to meet everybody and no one had, told us any protocol about, I didn't know if it was supposed to curtsy or oh, yeah, what right. you're supposed to do. And, and I realized when they started going around that I had taken my shoes off. So I was about to meet the royal, you know, couple <laughs> in, you know, uh, Fred Flintstone style in my, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, bare feet. And, um, and then of course, Kate, I meet her first and, and she's my height. I'm standing there and I realize, oh, I don't have my shoes on. And, and she says, well, I've got, I've got very high heels and she's pregnant. I said, honey, you need to take those shoes off. Your highness, honey. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I called her honey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's okay, right, honey? Is, did, how did she react she, to honey? I, she smiled. I'm sure she. It was fine. But I, to me, I just like really. I'm such a rube. I call her, <laughs> I, the French, Hi, honey. Take well, your shoes listen. Off. We've got an image to spread around the globe, and you're just doing <laughs> your so part. Doing <laughs> part. <laughs> we have a President Trump. You're allowed to call people honey when you travel. <laughs> <laughs> so. How many, you've won, what, you won the SAG Award, right? You won the BAFTA, Golden Globe. Do you have any speeches left for the Oscars? Is it, are you oh, out? So, you know, I, um, I'm not a, I've never been very good at writing. I'm terrified of writing. It takes me, you know, five hours to write a five minute thank you note, a, you know, a five letter thank you note. And um, I've asked all of my friends who I, who I think are good writers to write things should I win. So I can, oh, really? I you can have... call, you know, just to take the best from each one and sort of, throw it together and make up, uh, you know, make it mine. As Will it you thank the people who wrote the acceptance speech for you in the acceptance speech? No. No, you will not. 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 <laughs> they will not be credited. They, no, they will not. I Have you been be. to the Oscars before? I've never been. Wow, I've that's something. Been. That surprises me. I wow. feel like you it must have but I guess you want to wait till you're nominated. I did, I did. I was asked, someone asked me to go as their date once, and I said, no, 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 no. I don't want to, I only want to go if I'm nominated, that I have to that? wait. That's so, serious. You're so not waited, kidding around. Yeah. So wait. Are you excited about this? I'm are you kidding me? Yeah. I'm very. I'm unbelievably excited. I'm taking Stephen Rogers with me as my date. He wrote the movie and wrote this part for me. And, right. And right. I was. I was sort of wishing I, Tanya had gotten a nomination for best movie because I think it's so deserving. It's a really, a really good really movie. It's a lot of fun to watch. <laughs> you, you play as we saw in the clip. One of the worst moms yeah. in movie history. Yeah. I this is a say. woman who is still alive, right? Well, yeah, and I see now, listen, but when I started was working on the part, Tanya didn't know if she was still alive and didn't care where she was. So I felt kind of relieved that, oh, good, I don't have to worry about offending a real person. Like, I was just yeah. going to play her, put, put everything I had into that role and be as mean as Tanya and Jeff and everyone else said that she was. And I, I just, I was unapologetic about it. And, and uh, yet now that I know she's alive, I feel... I, I don't want to run into her. You think, I, yeah, I don't blame her. You think she's seen this movie? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. How could you not see a movie in which somebody plays you? I it's know. like, the, that is an incredible amount of restraint. I, I, but I think I did, I mean, I did kind of show her side of things pretty well, I think. I, I, I was, I was, 
on her side. I represented for her and, and knew what it took for her to, to you know, to, to get that, you know, get Tanya to the rink and how much it cost her. And I, I, I really feel like I filled her up with, with her truth. So, but and yet somewhere me. deep inside, you know that she will not appreciate any of that because no. <laughs> she's a but, horrible person. But everyone, the way Stephen brilliantly told the story is through everyone's perspective. So, right. not I, I showed her point of view, but Tanya's point of view was was shown and Jeff Galuli's and in those versions, Levana's kind of a monster. So, you know, every side was represented. So, everyone named Levana is a monster. I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's just it's an odd know. name. Are there any other people named Levana that no. you know? And of? No one on the crew called. Everyone kept mispronouncing. That. Everyone kept calling me Levona. It was like, it's Levana. <laughs> you should have burned them with the cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> How about that parakeet you had on your shoulder through the whole movie? Oh, was yeah. that um, difficult? I, I auditioned three parrots for that role. Oh, and, really? And, um, and this guy was the one I picked because he was the most chill and just hung out on my shoulder and didn't do anything. But then when we got in the, uh, shooting the thing, I just I had to put a breathing tube in my um, ear because I, I decided in my nose and because and I decided uh, Lavana had to have emphysema and and uh, they wouldn't the bird handler wouldn't let us smoke around the bird so. We did that, and then the bird became obsessed with the plastic thing around my ear. Uh -huh. So we kept poking at it, like, incessantly. <laughs> it drove me crazy, and I couldn't do anything, because I knew we only had, like, two hours to film that scene, the entirety of my direct address to the camera. So I just barreled on through, and it kind of fueled me. It made me really Yeah, whatever happened, off. the chemistry between you and that bird was really amazing. Good. It really was. And by the way, I, I mentioned the Oscars. We talked about the BAFTA and these other. Yeah. You got a, a, a maybe the best honor of uh, all. You got your name on the Dayton um, Walk of Fame. Dayton, this is Ohio. in Dayton, Ohio, your yeah. hometown. Yeah. I hope you know these people. This is uh, this is uh, Macy Janney, my mother, and Jerv Janney, my father. Don't mean to be. This is quite a turnout you had for uh, this yeah. event. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. That is so funny. All right, yeah, it was just the three of us. Who else small. is on the Dayton Hall um, of Fame? There, there are a lot of it. Jonathan Winters. Oh, um, wow, that's um, a great one. Uh, Kathy Geiswhite, the cartoonist. Um, oh, uh, the, the, the Gish sisters, the famous Gish sisters Lillian from Hollywood. Gish? Hollywood. Yes, they were from Dayton, Ohio. Oh, how about that? Martin Sheen. There's so many people. Well, wow, that's pretty yeah. nice, yeah. The only thing odd about it was going looking at my star. I don't know if you... They, they have my birth date and then the dash... Waiting do, for a Do long. they think you're gonna <laughs> Do they think you're gonna be buried there? Why well, is I that? Know. <laughs> I know. I, I'm not sure, but yeah. I think I, I, I would be very happy to be buried. Yeah, in why not? Ohio. What the hell? Get buried in an intersection. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lavana comes by, puts out her cigarette on it. <laughs> Well, it's congratulations. Great. You did a phenomenally great job Thank in uh, the movie. And, of course, it's called I, Tanya. It comes out. If you haven't seen it, you should. It's on digital HD uh, starting on March 2nd. And Allison will be at the Oscars Sunday, March 4th, here on ABC. Thank you very much, Allison. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.